Hello. I'm hiking along a ridge line in the Hangai Mountains, helping out the families that we're staying with with the herding for the day. In the last video, you just saw a couple of baby sheep and goats that we found today. I found one of them by itself up on one of these ridge lines that I'm walking along. And one of the other guys found two more of them today and a couple of more earlier this morning. And the pregnant animals can give birth at any moment at this time of the year, even if they're out grazing, even if they're in a hard place to get to like this. And you have to really be careful because the young animals are really vulnerable. If you don't get to them within an hour or so after their mothers give birth to them, they could just freeze to death out here. It's not really that cold, but they're so vulnerable and weak that you have to find them. And the problem with finding them is that the animals are spread out everywhere. And you have to walk around in terrain like this, up and down these hills. Every time you think you hear or see something, that seems kind of strange. The very pregnant animals that are just about to give birth will usually make some weird sounds. They won't be able to keep up with the rest of the animals. They'll kind of go off by themselves, usually in rocky places like this, and that's where they'll give birth to the other to the to the babies. And then you have to get to the baby and get it back to camp, let it nurse with its mother for a little while and then get it back to camp before it freezes to death. So he just rode back to camp to bring those three babies back with him. And I'm up here just trying to keep an eye on the animals. A lot of them are moving up behind me in that snow, moving in that direction. Some of them are over here. I'm going over here to try to push them down in that direction. I figured I'd take you along with me so you could look at some of the scenery. See here is kind of like a prime example behind me. There's a goat that's kind of by itself. There's no one else hanging around it. And it might be one of the ones that's about to about to give birth. But I'm just trying to keep all the animals together so that when he gets back we can kind of watch them a little more closely. And then I'm just trying to listen for the sound, it's really high pitched, the sound of a baby sheep or goat. And that's how you know you're coming across one of them. So I went up there, I found it without its mother. And obviously didn't know what to do because I'm not a herder. So what I did was I just wrapped it up in this jacket here and carried it down with me. Well, it's hopefully safe in camp now. I don't want to be responsible for this of these people's livelihood. They're nice enough to try to teach me how to herd. And I don't want to fuck up by killing their newborn animals. Because that's how you grow your herd. By making sure as many offspring as possible live. So, I'm just pushing these animals down in the direction of camp behind me you see walking. It's pretty cool terrain up here in these mountains, but if, uh, if there's an animal given birth or if I find another baby animal, I'll turn the camera on and show you that. You already saw them. They're pretty small. They're pretty vulnerable. And they're pretty cute. So I know you people probably love baby animals because who doesn't love baby animals? So catch up with you if I find one. Take care. <laughs>